innovation team at Safaricom has been set up to identify, accelerate, and scale tech solutions. And this is done through the various programs, initiatives we run, also benchmarking with what others are doing uh, outside the country, outside the company. One of these programs is the Hackathon. The Hackathon is basically a program that brings together different skill sets, people with ideas, different passions to basically uh, look for uh, problems and also at the same time find solutions in terms of how to address them. There was one particular idea that came through the FinTech Innovation Week, which was called M Subscriptions. And this was an idea that introduced standing orders, the first of its kind to mobile payments. This idea was actually the winning idea within uh, that hackathon. We met as interns. Uh, we were the first cohort as the UI UX track for the year 2022. Our innovation ideally was to introduce standing orders on M-Pesa, where customers can, can come onto the M-Pesa app and schedule bills that are recurring, whether it's uh, daily, weekly, annually, or biannually. And they can be able to view a history of their payments. They can be able to view a list of what the subscription they have added, so they could be able to track the ex expenditure. After winning the FinTech Hackathon, we got to visit one of the most amazing places in the world, that's Dubai. Apart from the fun and games uh, going to the various attractions in Dubai, it also entailed a trip to the big tech, learn how to innovate and continue innovating and doing better. We had a chance to visit uh, different uh, places. We also, um, uh, we also had a chance to meet with our partners, uh, the next of Oracle, uh, then, meeting with our partners, we got to learn a lot and what we have learned from them is what now we are using in our current projects. Uh, winning the hackathon opened very many doors for us in terms of um, now when we speak, nobody no longer sees us as interns and we are now more part of the company and they remember what we did and they are willing to listen in terms of our ideas and how we think they can be implemented in a better way. Life after the winning this hackathon has just been incredible. I feel like everyone has forged their own path. We are familiar with each other, but everyone is just doing their thing. In the spirit of partnership, uh, we have partnered with the government in the e-mobility program, where the users will be able now to pay for the products and they continue using. As I reflect on changes between 2022 and where we are now currently sitting, the organization is going more agile, which is a good ingredient and actually an agent to facilitate innovation. And we do have the innovation construct. The innovation framework actually looks to structure and uh, come up with systems and schedules to actually write a pipeline on how innovation is done in Safaricom. We want to also start doing innovation weeks half yearly. The other thing we have is we have an innovation fund. The Safaricom board was very generous. Uh, they gave us uh, a budget of half a billion and uh, this is a yearly budget and we've come up with an innovation strategy on how to use this fund. We're going to make innovation a norm in Safaricom. We're going to make sure even as people innovate, they don't fear failure because most of the innovations fail when they're not incubated from idea stage to development. I'd like to encourage staff to go, uh, to go into the portal and submit the ideas and also to engage in our various programs. Uh, that's the hackathons, innovation weeks, and who knows, one of us might be the next winner. One thing uh, to remember as we innovate, let's keep the customer at the center of our engagements, right from, from the conceptualization to development and also rolling out of the idea.